In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to export data uh, in attribute table from uh, QGIS to uh, Excel. So let's start off by uh, creating a working space. So this is where I'll, I'll be exporting my uh, Excel data. So I'll just call it uh, uh, Excel data. And then we we'll go ahead and open up the QGIS application. And then we're going to add some uh, data that is a shape file. So we'll go up above here and click on layer and then uh, go to add layer and then the click on uh, add vector layer. So you navigate, first of all, click on file and then uh, click on this uh, button here. Uh, you navigate to the to the location of where you have your data. Mine is located in this uh, folder. So I'll click on the shape file and then click uh, open and then add that data so i have this uh, uh data here and uh, if we right click on the table of content here and open up the attribute table you can see that we have this kind of a table of data in this uh, attribute table so i want to export this data to excel so there are three methods that you can uh, do that the first one uh, we can export as a csv then convert to excel the second method you can e export directly as excel and then the third method you can copy this data into uh, excel so let's start off by uh, looking at how to convert or how to export a csv now uh, right click on it and then uh, go to export um, export and then select uh, save feature as like that and then uh, the format here so select the format as a comma separated value csv and then uh, here on the file name click on this button so that uh, you specify where you want to store the data remember we created a working space here called excel data so that's why i'm going to uh, save that particular data so i'll give it a name uh, say exported uh, CSV data like that and I'll click on save uh, so the projection leave it as default and then uh, you can select actually field that to export for example if you click on this I can decide that I don't want to export uh, the ID and then geometry I leave that uh, as it is then um, uh, you can also uncheck this persist layer metadata but uh, if you want to export the metadata you can leave it uh, uh, checked for this case i'm going to uncheck it and then uh, also make sure that you uh, select the add saved file map this one here then you click ok and uh, immediately receive this uh, information that the data has been exported as a csv is so we minimize this and go to the uh, working space here you can see we have exe uh, csv data so if i double click on it you have your csv so uh, from here you can convert csv to uh, excel by simply clicking on file then go to save us and uh, we're going to save it in the same folder or just uh, click on the same folder and select um, Excel workbook and click save just like that you have your uh, Excel data now let's quickly go to the second method uh, so move to the second method the second method we said uh, you can uh, just select uh, the layer then right click and go to export and save uh, features as this time round we are going to select format as um, as uh, excel so we have this option here ms office open excel spread uh, spreadsheet this one and then uh, click 
So this one we can give it a name again. Just give it any name and then um, click OK. This time round, just let's leave this uh, ID. Uh, we are going to uncheck this persist metadata, then um, add also uncheck that, uh, and then you click OK. So, if you go to that folder, you can see that we have this uh, data here that we've just uh, exported. So you can see we have this um, ID that uh, we did remove this time round. So now lastly, we can create an Excel here. Just, uh, just right click on, uh, on that particular folder and then uh, on new select Microsoft Excel worksheet. This time round, we are we are going to copy the data from uh, directly from our uh, attribute table to uh, Excel. So the, the name I'm just going to leave it as that. Then just double click and so that you can open that particular uh, Excel data or Excel. Now go to um, QGIS application. So the last uh, method is to copy uh, direct, you can copy uh, this data directly into uh, Excel. So if you open up attribute table, then um, make sure that uh, your Excel is open like this. Now just uh, open up the attribute table, you can see I have several of them here open it again uh, attribute table and then select the first you can scroll down uh, the entire uh, cell row or you can just uh, press select the first row and then uh, scroll down to the last row and press down uh, shift and click on that last uh, particular row and then just control C press down control then C to copy I go to Excel right here uh, right click and then paste as simple as that now we have your uh, data in Excel so those are three simple methods that we can use to copy uh, data from uh, attribute table in QGIS to uh, Excel and uh, I think that's all for this tutorial uh, see you in the next one